Welcome to another training video by H-Impact. This is Travis Elho, Senior Software Engineer here at H-Impact. This video will cover how to set up a SQL Server database that would be used in our Blazor server-side project. The data from the SQL database will be used later in this video series to build charts from the Chart.js JavaScript library. We are using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2019 with a SQL Server Express installation. All software is free and is available on Microsoft's website for download. I have included the links in the description below. Also, if you missed the previous Blazor Chart JS overview video for this project, I've left the link in the description, as well as the source code to this project. Let's get started. Our Blazor application We'll need some data. We'll begin by creating our database. Inside of SQL Server Management Studio, let's write the T-SQL to create the database. We'll get started by making sure we're using the master database and then we'll create a database called chart stats. Now let's execute the SQL. The commands were completed successfully. Excellent. Now we have to refresh the databases folder in order to see our database. Chart stats appears in our list now. So our database has been created. Now we have to create our table. Since the chart stats database has been created, we need to switch over to it in order to create our table. We'll name our table cities. Let's begin by adding a primary key. We'll call it city ID. Integer will be its data type. and we'll give it an identity setting. The next field will be city name. City name will be text, so we'll make it in bar char. 50 would be its width. We'll make it a not null field and give it a default of empty string. Next up is population. This is where our numbers will go. We'll also make it not null. To store our colors, we need to add two different types of colors. The first is going to be hex color. In varchar would be its data type with 20 as its width, not null, and a default of empty string. We'll add the final field as RGBA color. In bar char, 50, not null, and default, empty string. Great, that does it. We now have all our fields for our table. Let's execute the SQL to create our table. We get the confirmation message that our commands were completed successfully. Now let's refresh our chart stats database to make sure our table is there. Expand our tables folder. And our cities table has been created. Excellent. Now let's expand the cities table to make sure our columns are there. And they look great. Each field that we created is now identified as a column in our table. Now let's add some test records to make sure our table functions correctly.
In order to insert rows into our table, we must write insert statements. So our first insert statement will insert a city named Littletown. With our insert statement, we must define the fields before we insert the data. Cities is the table name. The first field we're going to insert into is city name. We can skip city ID because that field is an auto-generated ID. Then we add population, hex color, and finally RGBA color. Nice. Now we need to add the data. We'll insert our first city called Little Town. Population is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Our hex color and RGBA color will match light sky blue. Our RGBA color will have an opacity or alpha of 0.7. Okay, that does it for Little Town. Now let's add two more rows. Prior to this recording, in order to speed this up, I've written two more SQL statements that will insert cities. Let's copy those statements into our query. Okay, nice. Now we have a total of three rows that will be added to our table. Let's execute the SQL name. It looks like the query was completed successfully. And three rows were affected. That's a good sign. Let's make sure data is in the table by writing a select statement now. So we're going to select all the fields from the cities table. Excellent. It worked. We now have three rows that have been added to our cities table. With the first field being an auto-generated number, it was set to identity, remember? So every row that's added to the table gets a new ID. City name looks good. Population values match, and the hex colors and RGBA colors look great too. That's all of it. If you have any questions on creating the SQL database that would be used for our Blazor server-side project, leave a comment below and I'll do my best on getting back to you. In the next video, we will cover setting up our Blazor Chart.js project using the Blazor server-side project template. In the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us the thumbs up with a like and share this video. Comments with or without a question are great too. Again, this is Travis L. Hope. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this training video by himpact.com.